You've gone under agreement on your new condo. These are exciting times. Now it's time to get prepared for your inspection. So here's what will most likely happen on the day of your inspection. Inspections on condos, they're just like inspections on single families, except they're completely different. All right, so now I even I'm confused. So let me unpack this one for you. The process of the inspector examining the exterior of the building, it's the same. They look to find any issues with the condo building. It's different from a single family because these issues, they're most likely going to be the responsibility of the association as a whole, not the single unit owner. I promise we will go a lot deeper on this momentarily. The inspector looks at the envelope of the building to see if it is in need of any improvements. Maybe the exterior needs painting, or maybe there is some rot that needs to be fixed. They're gonna take the time to evaluate the roof, the windows, any steps, or even the evidence of pests, which could include termites and even the unwanted furry kind like mice and rats. In most cases, the inspector will get to the property before your scheduled time. The inspector, they're gonna use this time to do an in-depth evaluation of the property, looking for all these different def deficiencies that I mentioned above, as well as many others. Now, once the inspector is done looking at the exterior, they will normally ask to go to the basement in search of the building mechanicals, the common and unit electric, plus the main plumbing lines. They'll also inspect the actual structure to ensure it's properly supported while also looking for additional signs of pests. Now, it's important to realize that some condos may have their own mechanical systems, which may be located in the actual unit. If this is the case, then normally this means that you as the unit owner are actually responsible for these mechanical systems and that your inspector, they may want to start in the actual unit itself if this is the case. An inspector normally starts with the mechanicals as this is one of the major expenses of a property. These mechanicals include the furnace, hot water heater, and air conditioning condenser. Once in the unit and after the mechanicals, they will begin to work on the interior of the property. This includes the electrical system. They'll check the main panel as well as scan all accessible outlets. Your inspector will evaluate the plumbing by running sinks and flushing toilets while also examining all windows and doors to ensure they are properly functioning. An inspector will also check certain appliances like the range and dishwasher. There are two different types of roofs that you'll find on a condo association. You'll find a pitched roof, which are generally asphalt shingle roofs like most single families, or the flat roofs, which are most likely rubber membrane roofs. This matters because depending on the type of roof, then that will lead to the type of inspection. If it's a pitched asphalt roof, then the inspector will be able to evaluate it from the street. If it's a flat roof, then they will need to examine it, examine it by getting actual roof access and getting on the roof. Sometimes this can become a little difficult if access is only accessible to the top floor unit or the condo association has, well, blocked that roof access. Remember, an inspector can only inspect what they can see. In most cases, they aren't able to see every square inch of a building. Another part of condo due diligence that we will do is by looking at the history and the future plans of the condo association. We're gonna do this by reviewing the condo association's meeting minutes. These meeting minutes are prepared by most associations and go over what has been talked about in prior meetings. In these meetings, we'll be able to gain insight on any issues the association is facing and upcoming projects that are being planned. It isn't out of the ordinary that there are no meeting minutes available for smaller associations. And if this is the case, then we just need to ask well-pointed questions during our due diligence phase to ensure that we have unearthed any potential issues. As I mentioned earlier, common issues found in a home inspection are most likely the responsibility of the association, which sounds great, but what if it's a two or three family unit building? If that's the case, then you could be on the hook for up to 50% of those repairs. So what does all that mean? Even though there might be common issues, then we may still need to be asking for a seller concession to help with those future repairs. Once the inspection has been completed, then we will wait for the inspection report to be sent. Together, we're gonna to evaluate the inspection issues and talk about any condo association's issues discovered through our due diligence. With all of this information, we will then put together a strategy and present it to the seller. It's always important to remember that a seller can deny any and all of our requests. One thing I've noticed in the more than 1,000 home inspections I've been involved in is that asking too much can oftentimes result in getting very little. It's important to be reasonable with any request as being too aggressive can agitate a seller and make them act irrational to what later could be considered really reasonable requests. Remember, there is no perfect house. 
you should also know that there is no pass or failing grade on a house and that you and only you own the report. This is not something you share with your bank and are not required to share it with the seller. I will say that sharing at least the sections of the report that talk about any issues that you're trying to negotiate can be very helpful in that seller negotiation. Payment is made to the inspector once the inspection is completed. I've seen inspection costs ranging from $450 to $700 for condos. And most inspectors accept cash or check, but I have seen a couple accept credit cards, but those inspectors are more the exception, not the rule. Let me know if you have any questions about the inspection as well as anything else in regards to the home buying process.